Dylan White would call out Anthony Joshua for a rematch fight. Who do you think wins that fight? And do you think that could be a fight that could actually take place in the future? Also, for all the people that didn't see my community post, this is the updated Ring Magazine heavyweight rankings. Frank Warren would be interviewed by Queensberry, and he would say this about the Fury and Music fight. That's what like, all the sides want to do. So we've agreed, you know, we have agreed, we, we've all agreed, all the parties have agreed we want the fight. We're just working out really, um, I suppose, the logistics and where it takes place. And that's really it. And we're going to have to make some decisions very quickly about that. Frank Warren agrees with the general public, and he argues that the fight with Derek Jezora should have been stopped earlier. He also would say that Derek Jezora needs to retire. He got well paid and uh, he did give a count of himself. I mean, the fight, could, I think, could have been stopped earlier. Um, it, it went on too long, but having said that, um, you know, I, I, I never, I mean, I said, I'm not telling, you know, altering facts or anything. I never felt Derek could beat him. I'm not being disrespectful to Derek. I never felt he had to beat the Tyson. The only way he could beat him, in my opinion, was to knock him out. And he just didn't get near to that at all. He showed courage, heart, you know, you know, vintage Derek Chisora, but Tyson, I think, is head and shoulders above all the heavyweights. Derek now, I hope, will, and I don't mean it's disparagingly or, you know, or, or, or even, uh, you know, being, being disrespectful to him. He should retire now. You know, I hope he's got money. I hope he's made a lot of money in the sport, and I hope he, I hope he, he comes out of it. You know, with his, with his uh, marbles all intact. Anthony Joshua is still a big name for Tyson Fury to fight, and Frank Warren would have to say this about that possible matchup. Conference was where does Anthony Joshua fit into this picture? Um, from from your opinion, does he fit into the picture picture for next year? What what do you think? Not at the moment. Look. I, I find it strange. Everyone keeps talking about, you know, again, why wasn't he in the ring? I've done a thing on uh, Talk Sport the other day and Jim White said, but why wasn't he in the ring? He hasn't even got a trainer. He has not, how's he going to get in the ring? He hasn't even got a trainer. As we talked, they were talking about him, fighting, about him fighting on the 17th of December. He hasn't even appointed a new trainer yet. Who knows? And he's not in our, you know, we, we, we've mapped out where we are and uh, unless Tyson changes his mind, that's where we're going. Yeah, he doesn't think that fight is going to take place, which Tyson Fury himself would make it known that he does not want to fight Anthony Joshua anyway, because he thinks Joshua is a coward. Frank Warren would say this about Anthony Joshua's resume compared to Tyson Fury's resume. Anthony Joshua has a better resume than Tyson Fury, so uh, I'm sure there's no no more of a staunch defense than, than from yourself. What, what would you say to those comments? Uh, you know, look, you've got to, you've got to give me his, his due. I mean, he's... You know, he's a green boxing promoter. You know, he's always recycling. He's flogging, always flogging. He's slogging the goods. He never gives up on them. Um, anybody who knows anything about boxing knows what the position is out of those two fighters. And anybody knows what would happen if they, if, if it ever happened that they met. And that doesn't look like going to be any time soon. But, um, and at the end of the day, he has something to say about everything. So who really cares? Fair enough, position is the only thing that matters. You could have fought all the greats in boxing and lost to every one of them. Whereas this other boxer has fought some greats and some bones, but is the champion. Just because you fought greats doesn't make you better than a boxer who is a champion in the sport. I hope that made sense. But anyways, the interview would carry on and Frank Warren would talk about Daniel Dubois. I mean, anybody who knows anything about boxing will tell you the first round is normally the danger round for fighters who get caught on the top of the head. You know, your body's, the body's not warmed into it and they can get disorientated, discombobulated, whatever you want to call it. And that's exactly what happened with him. You know, Lorraine is not a bad puncher. He's got, you know, he, he can whack and uh, he caught him and he caught him cold. And he, he, he went, there's no doubt about that bit, I think. But it's funny, I look back to Tyson when Tyson said um, in that first fight he had with um, Wilder, when I thought he was out and he was lying there, and I said to him after the fight, we in the dressing room, I said, what, Why did you suddenly jump? You know, you suddenly just come back to life. He said, I wasn't out. He said, I just couldn't feel my legs. And he said, and Had I got up, I'd have fallen about all over the place. But he did that because he'd got great experience, he's got great knowledge. Whereas Daniel just got up and he was all over the place. And his leg, he, uh, he obviously had a problem with his leg. And uh, he, you know, he, he, he went down twice without getting hit. And that was that, that was solely because of his leg. And I noticed in the second round as well that he was struggling with it. And then 
you know, he got his, he, he sort of gradually got himself back into it. And obviously, once he, once uh, once he finds his range and he lets those shots go, and he was obviously warmed up by then, um, that was it. It was lights out. It looks like the fight with Yuzik versus Tyson Fury might actually happen. I just got a tweet from Michael Benson that states, Frank Warner stated that Tyson Fury versus Alexander Yuzik, undisputed fight for the WBA, WBC, IBF, and WBO, heavyweight world titles will take priority over Daniel Du Bois' mandatory shot at Yuzik, which the WBA have now officially ordered. Who do you think is going to win that fight? Make sure to comment down below. Anthony Joshua would say he would rather fight Dylan White over Tyson Fury because Dylan White had more swag. Don't believe me? Watch this short clip. UK 2011. If you had to pick who to fight between Tyson Fury or Dylan White for getting belts, who would you want to fight more? If I'm going to erase my memory, imagine men in black, they come with that torch. <laughs> Dylan White, it has to be Dylan White. South London, North London. Fury's good, but he's a Manchester boy. I think Dylan, he has more swag in general, but he's come up short a few times. So yeah, make sure to comment down below your guys' thoughts and make sure to have a great day.